Okay, now let's look at constructing um, truth tables for some pretty complex statements. Okay, so I'm going to ignore what P and Q are. They could be any statement for that matter. Okay, um, but let's say, for example, you asked to construct or find out the truth values for this statement here. Okay, not Q or not P. Okay, so I kind of said it here, for example, it means not, and you got this bracket, Q or not P. Okay, so we need to kind of find out what the truth values of this thing are. Now, it looks really complicated, okay? You need to remember that all truth tables, when, it, when you're do, dealing with two statements, always start off the same. And you kind of need to build up slowly, okay? So first of all, I'm going to look at what, I, what well, I'm going to do the first two columns first of all. So we start with P normally, and then Q comes afterwards. Actually, let me do that again with a little bit more neatness. Okay, so. Right, now, normally these two columns are filled in for you, but I'm going to just do it now. So, this is true, 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 false, and it's always all pretty much in the same order. True, false, false, true, or well, they could both be false. Now, it doesn't really matter what P and Q are. We're, you know, it, it's irrelevant now whether it, you know, is whether to do with playing football or raining or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to slowly build up so that this statement here is our last column. Okay. So the true values end up in the last column. Now, what do we need? Okay. So let's look at what we have. So we've got this not here, and then we've got a bracket, and then you've got this or. Now remember, if you remember back in bid mass, okay, brackets first. It's kind of like similar here. We need to start with a bracket first. But the thing about this is, it's not a straightforward or because you have this here. It's not p. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to work out not p. That's what I'll do first. And let me just do that now. Right, not p is the opposite of p. So look at these true values in this column and write down the opposite of them. Well, if that's true, that's false. We've got a true here, that's going to be false again. We've got a false, that's going to be true. Let's go false, that's going to be true. So you've got the opposite values of this column here, right? That's not P. Okay, remember, the negation is the opposite of something. So if that's true, that's false. It's true, it's false, false, true, false, true, okay? Right, and then what can we work out? Well, we've just worked out this little bit here. So why don't we go ahead and work out the whole bracket now. So let's go ahead and work out um, Q or not P. Now you need to think about which two columns we're going to look at here. Okay. Right, so Q or not P. Okay, so we're looking at Q or not P. So we're looking at these two columns. I remember the word or, okay? It's only false if both statements are false, right? So we're looking at these two individual columns. You can pretty much ignore that for now. So ignore that one. Look at these two. Now, this or that. This one or that one. Okay, so one of them's true here. That's got to be true then. Now, they're both false here. Remember, or is false if they're both false. So this has got to be false. Now what about this one? They're both true. That's okay. They're both true. This or that? Well, this one is true, so they're both true here. Okay, so only this middle one's false. Okay, now what do we want now? We, we've we just worked out the inside of this bracket. Now we want to work out the negation of that. So the last column is the answer, right? It's the last, is what we want, right? So it's the negation of this column. So it literally is the opposite of this. So what do we have then? Well, we'll have a, what's the opposite of true? Well, that's false. Opposite, what's the opposite of false? Well, that's true. And that's false. And that's false. So we've just worked out the true false values for this statement here. Okay? So you've got to think logically. You've got to build it up. 
Okay, in the later clips, we'll look at some more and more complicated examples. Well, we'll need more columns in this. But remember, brackets first to kind of build outwards. Okay, so we started with that, then we went to this, and then we went to the final thing, and which is our answer. False, true, false, false. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the complica complications of like looking at some real life examples of this, but think about what we've done here, and we're going to build on it next. Okay, you could do similar things with and, the negation of Q, or something like that. But I'm going to stop it here because we're going to look at some more examples next.